Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today uh, I'm going to fix this types of error message in ASP.NET Core. So just when we click on the database diagram, just uh, that is uh, student uh, that is and just when we click on that new database diagram that a message will be pop up that is Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and the message is index was outside the bound of an of the array. That is the message because uh, we have the prepared table already we have and if you uh, just I want to add a new table in this area uh, there is a no need so just close this first of all and you will okay so now after that uh, you will just again you can open your SQL Server Management Studio and uh, again just right click on your uh, database diagram after closing your SQL Server Studio then reinitialize your table that is already done you uh, you have done okay so again this and just expand the database node first of all and you will see a uh, lots of uh, application right there and just open the database objects wait for some times it will load it and take uh, some time after that uh, just scroll your so finally go uh, for the uh, database uh, node that is uh, student and db and just click on your uh, new database diagram and you will see that here we have some tables just after uh, if you before uh, just creating your table just close your SQL Server Management Studio and you will see that your add table wizard is will be appeared so just i want to add these table like a department and employee and just click on add button okay so here we have the table structure will be added and just close this and after that you will see that here we have the database diagram of related to your uh, employee between the tables okay so here we have a simple uh, diagram on the basis of your database here we have a department have one to many that is the symbol of your uh, department to employ okay so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to uh, sql server management studio and asp.net code